Hey, well, good evening. Um, uh, one disclosure, um, I work for IBM and I'm also a member of the Apache Software Foundation, so I frequently find myself in a schizophrenic state of proprietary software versus open software. Um, what I'd like to talk to you about today is a project that we've announced um, today. There was a press release, and the project is called Zoe. And many people say, what does that stand for? It doesn't actually stand for anything. We went through great strides to try to pick a name that did not was not an acronym, and then when we explain that, everybody tries to figure out what Zoe means, and then they start making up acronyms. But the, uh, what Zoe is, it's a, a project that we're hosting with the Open Mainframe project. It's related to the mainframe, and how many people have or work with mainframes or know something other than the matrix version of a mainframe? Okay. So just for, for background, the mainframe typically is referred to as it's an IBM Z platform, it's hardware, runs a variety of operating systems. And what we refer to when we're talking about Z is we're talking about ZOS, which typically means it's a business platform. So if you went to Starbucks or you had dinner, you used a credit card, most likely part of that transaction went through a mainframe somewhere in the world. Um, now the mainframe has a, a little bit of a history, a little bit of a culture. And um, actually, before I was coming out here, I was reading the diversity standards, and I thought, wow, you know, we should talk about the mainframe in that context, because people think the mainframe is this old, outdated system. Um, but it's actually a culture. And when you think of cloud, cloud is a culture. It's a culture of agility. The mainframe is also going through a number of changes um, to be agile, to be speedy, et cetera. And Zoe is intended to make the mainframe more accessible to people that I'm not familiar with that or haven't used it for the last 50 years. So basically it's a set of technologies that were brought together by um, IBM, CA Technologies, and Rocket Software. And we, we said, hey, what can we do to raise the tide of ZOS without doing proprietary software where everybody has competing products? And we came up with this idea of CA had a uh, technology, there's a CLI, IBM had some REST APIs, and Rocket had a web UI. And so what we want to do is, if, if you haven't seen this before, this is what we always refer to as a green screen. This is typically how you would work with the mainframe. You would interact, you, this would, is an editor, so it's not nearly as robust and content se context sensitive. And so what we want to go is from this to this. And what we've done with this Zoe project is we've effectively open sourced three technologies, a number of REST APIs to enable access to the mainframe for administrative and development purposes. Um, we open sourced the window manager, and so effectively what you're seeing is rendered in a browser. It's not in an Eclipse framework or a heavy, fat Java client. It's all um, browser friendly. Um, and we're introducing new editors and things of that nature that are all context sensitive. And you'll, I'll talk about these very quickly. The basic architecture, at the very bottom we have the, the mainframe, which is where we have a set of microservices that we're interacting with. So we're in the process of really translating our proprietary software um, with other vendors into um, open standards. Um, we have a mediation layer, so we want to be able to abstract away from the proprietary interfaces and get to a nice you know, standard lingua franca that everybody can interact with. And then we have two basic technologies that we deploy where we have um, a command line, which you see over there on the left. And the command line interface runs actually on your desktop. It's a node client, and it interacts with REST APIs to get to the mainframe. And it allows developers to use tools, patterns, workflows that they're very familiar with. And then over on the right, we have the, the desktop, which is a, a familiar motif. Um, basically, all REST APIs, so I won't belabor that point to great detail. But one thing to note with this UI, it is something everybody sees every day. If you're not a mainframe person, you intuitively know exactly how to interact with this motif. I go to the bottom left, I see what programs or applications are installed, I see my dock at the bottom, and all of a sudden, I didn't have to learn 3270 and MBS data sets and USS and JES and all the buzzwords that go along with the mainframe, I can simply interact with it directly. Um, we also want to be able to engage developers so that they can choose the platform that makes the most sense for their application. Uh, I think Mark Twain was, was quoted as saying that rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated, and the mainframe um, is still around, and it'll be around for maybe even another 50 years, because it's part of the ecosystem. 
And so the Zoe project is taking software written for Z and we're turning it around, making it available, and developing in the open so we can make changes faster than we ever could before. So um, we do have some links if you want to come take a look at it. And thank you very much for your time.